Hi, welcome to another video. While DeepSeek V3.1 got a bit overshadowed when Gemini 2.5 Pro was released, DeepSeek's new model is actually quite amazing. It's incredibly cost-effective, and despite not even being marketed as a reasoning model, it somehow outperforms models like Claude 3.7 Sonnet, which is truly impressive. I'm really impressed by this model, considering it's almost 10 times cheaper than Claude 3.7 Sonnet, while offering nearly the same capabilities. The Ader leaderboards show significant improvement over the previous model, and it performs exceptionally well in my own tests too, which is remarkable. It shows an improvement of about 6 points in MMLU, while gaining 9.3 points in GPQA and approximately 19.8 points in AIM. It also demonstrates a 10-point improvement in Live Code Bench, which is excellent. The model features improved accuracy in code generation, can create more aesthetically pleasing web pages and game front ends, and even offers increased accuracy in function calling, fixing issues from previous v3 versions, which is definitely awesome. I really appreciate this model, as it delivers great performance for the price it's offered at. You can obviously use it for free on their platform, but I've discovered a tool that's completely free, and also allows you to generate code with it, which is fantastic. It's called DeepSight. Now, you might wonder what DeepSight is. Well, it's quite simple. It's a hugging face space that lets you use the new DeepSeek V 3.1 model for free and create some impressive things with it. It's open source, so you can view the code and even duplicate the space to use it according to your needs. But first, let me show you how it works. On the left, you can see a basic HTML page where you get the page code that renders what you see on the right. It's very intuitive and similar to VS Code, which is great. And you can also edit the code manually. You can see a mini-map of the code, the file name, and other helpful features. Looking at the interface, you can see the code on the left. And if you look down, you'll notice the prompt box. This is where you enter prompts about what you want the AI to create. You can ask it to generate any kind of app or tool you need. It only generates code in a single file and only uses HTML, which might seem limiting, but it actually works quite well in practice. You can reset the code by clicking the new button, which will revert the code to the default template, which is very convenient. Then you have the preview section where any changes to the code are immediately reflected. You can also manually change something in the code, and it will update in the preview as well. Now, let's try it out and see what it can do and how it performs. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0 Flash, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground, where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, Back to the video. Let's ask it to make me an image cropper tool. I'm going to enter the prompt here, and once I send it, you'll see it start working. The code starts streaming immediately, and you can see it happening right here. We'll need to wait a bit, as the code is going to be somewhat lengthy, although DeepSeek is quite fast these days, even if not as lightning quick as when it first launched. If we wait a moment, there, it's done now, and you can see the completed generation. 
The result is actually amazing. I believe this system is optimized to deliver excellent one-page results, which is perfect since it's mainly focused on creating compact tools for specific needs, and this is quite impressive. You can see a variety of options here, and it works remarkably well. I haven't seen such good results from such a simple prompt before. The system prompt must be doing wonders here. This is truly impressive. Let's try something more complex as well. I want to create a tool that I'll actually use. So I'll ask it to build me a tool that allows me to upload an image and then scribble over it and then save it back. This is fairly complex since handling canvas elements can be challenging, especially when implementing everything in a single HTML file. You can see it working on that now, and if we wait a bit, it's finished, and we can see the app is ready. Once again, it's working incredibly well. You can upload an image here, choose the color along with brush size, and you also have options to clear drawings and save the image. You can easily draw over the image based on the settings you've selected above. This is genuinely impressive. It works exceptionally well for small tools, and many people generally want simple options to generate basic tools for specific tasks, so this can definitely be useful in that regard. It works really well for most of the tasks, which is kind of great to see. So, there's that. Let's also try something even more complex with it. I'm going to ask it to make me a simple 3D sailing ship game. Let's see if it can handle this challenge. Okay, it's working on it now. Let's wait for it to finish. And it's done. You can see it did this quite well. It wrote the code, and now we have a functioning game. It looks good and works smoothly, which is awesome, especially considering it's all done in one page and completely free. The code is open source, and you can view it in the files section where you can examine the code, clone it locally to run it, or even run it locally with Docker, which is very convenient. You can do all of that, which is fantastic. I really appreciate small tools like this because they make creating simple utilities easy, which is what most of us need. I genuinely like it a lot, and you should give it a try too. You get the code which you can also run locally, which is another great benefit. Feel free to use it as much as you want and create some cool projects with it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.